Hi. So today we're going to be starting a new section of the course. And so in general in the course, the first sort of third of the course introduced anthropology to you. What's it all about? What do we study? How do we do it? The second part of the course gets into actually looking cross-culturally at different societies. Um, different kinship systems, marriage systems, how do various societies exchange wealth and services, especially in non-market economies. Um, and so we looked at all these different aspects of societies cross-culturally. And this third part of the course, the final part of the course, gets into more contemporary issues, current day stuff. How is globalization affecting small scale or what we might refer to as traditional societies? They know that it's not monolithic. It's turned out differently for different people. By and large, it hasn't turned out well for small scale societies. Um, a big reason again for that is that large scale industrial societies have taken away the very basis for their subsistence, the lands on which they subsist. And so we'll look at one particular case study of how indigenous people and small scale societies have been affected by globalization, how they reacted to these changes. Um, and the example we're going to look at is of the Kung. Um, and so we've been talking about the Kung, reading about them in NISA throughout the semester. And in, so far, we've been discussing them traditionally, um, largely in their traditional sense. And the way I've been describing the Kung to you and what you've been reading today, um, the Kung don't exist like that anymore. Uh, things have changed quite a bit. And so what we're going to do for the rest of the lecture, you should have finished up the last section of the ethnography NISA that we're reading about the Kung. Um, and we're going to watch the second half of the film, Nai, the story of a Kung woman. We started the film in the beginning of the semester. We're going to watch the last 25 minutes of, of it today. Um, and so what's, a central question to keep in mind is what has changed for the Kung, um, especially when you compare them in the film to how we've been studying them in the traditional sense. So take down some notes, note down what has changed in terms of how they get along or property or subsistence. Are they still hunting and gathering? Are they able to? Um, what's changed? Uh, what has happened to the Kung? Next class, we're gonna be starting a new topic, which is um, inequality and poverty. Why do we have so much of it? And why the hell do we tolerate it? All right. Y'all have a good rest of your day. We'll talk soon.